Okay, so we kind of left off um, talking about just some of the bivariate analysis that we can do. Um, the next step is to create some dummy variables um, for this data. And that's because uh, a lot of this data, or some of these variables actually, um, aren't in your standard uh, one and zero. And so what happens with SAS is that when it sees, you know, take race for example, right? Um, the potential uh, values for this are one, two, three, four. And so SAS automatically thinks that because it's one, two, three, four like that, if you try to put it into a regression model, it'll treat it as if it's a continuous variable. And so we need to create dummy variables um, so that we can have a good indicator um, of you know which one is which. Uh, so we do this using what's called a data step. Um, so data HSB2 and then set, you know, set it to your data set that you already had, also HSB2. And so um, what I like to do is do use uh, if then statements. So uh, if race, you know, equals one, uh, then what is it? I guess Hispanic equals one, else Hispanic equals zero. And so what this does is it tells SAS to create a new variable called Hispanic. And if the race variable um, has one as the response, Hispanic will be one, otherwise everything else is gonna be zero. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create indicative variables for Hispanic, Asian, and African American, and then have white as the reference group. So all of these other three races are going to be compared to the white race. Um, when we do some of these analysis. Uh, to save us a little bit of time, I'm just going to copy pasta because, you know, <laughs> it just saves a little time uh, that, you know, we have. So for the second one, uh, this is going to be our second category, so Asian, and then three for African American, and then you change your variable names. So this first one we'll change to Asian, uh, and we'll, you know, also make this one Asian, and then for this one, uh, I'm going to simplify it, uh, just do AA for African American, and then AA here. So this means that for each of these three racial categories, uh, I've created indicator variables for Hispanic, Asian, and African American. Now, uh, I can go ahead and type run and then run this, or I can go ahead and create dummy variables for the other um, couple of uh, non-binary variables that we have. The other one was SES, so SES, uh, we can create some if-then statements, so if SES equals one, um, let's compare everything to high SES. And so if SES equals one, then low SES equals one, else low SES equals zero. And we only have one more or technically two, but one more that we need to create. So SES for two. So we'll call this uh, mid SES since it was <laughs> middle SES. Oops. Uh, <laughs> so mid SES and mid SES there. So we've done that one. And let's see, we also have um, program. So we'll do some if then statements for this one as well. Uh, so if program equals, uh, we'll compare everything to general for this one. Um, I like to go ahead and think about what I want my um, reference group to be just so that I can know <laughs> or have in mind uh, what I'm comparing everything to. So program two, this is going to be our academic. So then uh, academic equals one else academic equals zero. And I can go ahead and do this for the third one. So program three, then I have vocational. If I spell it correctly, and I can go ahead and replace it for that one. And I think the last one that we have is the uh, school type. So we'll just say uh, whether it's public or not <laughs> to keep it simple. So if school type uh, equals one, then public, we'll say public school. Eh, no, we'll make it simple. Public equals one, 
else public equals zero. And that should be all of the categorical variables that we had that had um, that were not binary. So we've recreated uh, dummy variables for each one of these. So then we highlight this, tell it to run, and it should have created these new variables here on the um, far side. There is a way to double check your work and of course <laughs> make sure you save this as you're going. Um, it sucks when you lose your code because <laughs> you forgot to save things. So the way that we can double check and make sure that uh, these variables were recoded properly is to do a frequency. So proc freak data equals hsp2 and uh, we'll create tables and we'll do the new or the old variable times the new one. So race times Hispanic, race times uh, Asian, race times AA. Um, let's go ahead and get the other ones in there. So we have SES times low SES and then SES times mid SES and then program times academic program times vocational and then school type times public and that should be all of the new variables that we created so we can go ahead and press run so what we want to see here is that for the racial category one because that is the one that was for Hispanic we wanted to see only pop up in Hispanic one everything else should be zero for Hispanic. Same thing for Asian, the two should translate over and then everything is, else is zero for Asian. And then the three translates over for African American, the 20, and then everything else is zero. And so what this means is that if Hispanic is zero, Asian is zero, and AA is zero, um, that means that it is the white group, okay? Or the white um, racial group. Same thing here for the low SES. We only want the first one to translate over. Everything else is zero. Same thing for the mid one, the mid SES. That one translates over. Everything else is zero. And then we also had the academic programs. Don't forget the reason that it jumps straight to two is that we're using the one as our um, reference group here. So 105, everything else is zero. And then the 50, everything else is zero. And then the public school, it should match mirror to mirror. Um, one for public school over here is also the one for public school over here, and they should match um, exactly. So this tells us that we properly recoded um, our variables to dummy variables. So we'll go ahead and save that.